My role model is my father. He grew up with nothing. He would sell chocolate and candies at night just to help his parents make ends meet while they were working two jobs in factories in Chicago. Uh, and he was really the reason why I got into politics. My parents are Cuban exiles. They came from nothing and they achieved the American dream through hard work and perseverance. And because of them, I was able to go from a kid who was very shy to a law school graduate of Columbia University to the first attorney in my family and to an elected official at the age of 30. Children's issues are at the very core of who I am. Uh, I've really worked hard in autism, developmental disabilities, expansion of kid care. I'm a proud father of two small boys. I'm a proud husband of a teacher. And we really believe in our community. We believe in the future of Miami-Dade County. We think it's a perfect example of what America is gonna look like in a few years. And I think that if we don't push forward conservative values, that America will be lost. Buenos días. Soy el representante estatal José Feliz Díaz y soy orgulloso de ser hispano. My name is José Felix Díaz. I am a proud American citizen. My parents, like their parents, were born in Cuba. And I'm proud to speak not only English, but Spanish. I am here to tell you that contrary to what Democrats want you to believe, Conservatives do not all look alike, they do not all sound alike, and they do not all come from the same places. There are those in the liberal base that want you to believe that hate is a conservative value. It is not. Hate is not a conservative value. Hate is not a liberal value. Hate is an unfortunate human condition brought about by fear. Fear makes us forget the story of the American immigrant. Immigrants like my great-grandfather, a small uh, cattle farmer living in Spain who moved to Cuba to mine nickel to provide for his family. A man who achieved great success. A man who was robbed blindly by his new country and the tyranny of the Castro brothers. Immigrants like my father, who came to this country as a scared boy, whose parents worked in factories in Chicago to make ends meet, a boy who was the first college graduate in his family, a boy who had known so little money his whole life that when he was the first college graduate in his family and he was making $12,000 a year, it was so much money that my mother stopped working so she could take care of my sisters and I. The values of immigrants are the values of conservatives. There's nothing more entrepreneurial than abandoning everything that you know to give your family a shot. That's what my family did for me. Conservatives believe in the power and beauty of the American dream. My story is a simple one. All my life, I was told what I couldn't do. As a kid, I spoke funny. My writing was illegible. I was shy, and I was afraid. But my father and my mother told me to believe in myself. Because of them, that same boy who got an F in handwriting became a published poet in high school. The same boy who went to speech therapy while other kids were in PE became an English major in college. Because of them, that same kid who was shy and afraid became a member of the Florida House of Representatives at the age of 30. As a child of exiled immigrants, I believe in America. And I believe we have to do what is right for America. And what is right for America is to embrace the story of the legal immigrant. We must tell them 
Welcome to our country. Now succeed. Attain the American dream. Do what Americans have done for centuries. Succeed. Through conservative values like discipline, tenacity, and hard work. Finally, I leave you with one request. See, most elected officials would be afraid to come up here and spend five minutes talking about the story of immigrants. I'm not. So talk about it. Talk about it in a meaningful and rational way. We have to remember that tone matters. Think about the way we talk. And think about the way that your families and your forefathers came to this country and the struggles that they had to go through. And understand that what brings Americans, immigrants to America, are those same conservative values that brought your family and my family here. America attracts the world's best and brightest because of our belief in free markets, our belief in personal freedom, our staunch belief in liberty from tyranny, our freedom of religion. If we embrace and share those values, we will continue to win the hearts and minds of future generations. And we will protect this great experiment, which has become the greatest country in the world. God bless you. God bless America. Muchas gracias. Thank you for this honor.